This is Emily Young learning about worms. Hi, I'm here with Vince, and today Vince is going to teach me about worms. Hi, Vince. How you doing, Emily? This is Emily Young. She'll score a goal, play pretend, make a bunch of brand new friends. Learning, laughing, sharing, smiling. We'll have lots of fun with Emily Young. How many worms do you think are currently in what we call beds? 259. Higher? 250,000. Not bad, a little more. 250. 2008. There's actually 15 million worms in here. What do you do with all these worms? What we do is we bring in waste uh, from around the city of Toronto, vegetable waste, vegetable and fruit waste, and we compost it and then we put it into the beds and the worms eat the bacteria in the compost and 15 million worms will consume 90 tons of waste. You know what? I think you go fishing very often. Then. Well, you could. You could use some of these worms to go fishing, but you'd need a lot on your hook to catch a good fish. Emily, have you ever caught a fish before? Yeah. What did you use for bait? Bacon. I help with the rest sure. of the worms in the pot. Just reach your hand in there and go ahead and grab them. What they'll start to do is they'll start to wiggle down into the soil. They don't move as fast as you and I move. I bet. They don't even have feet. Hey Vince, I have a great idea. Can, can I help you use the, machi the big machine? For sure. We can go down to the front and we'll start playing with the vegetables. Okay. Bye, worms. Ah, oh, stinky. This is where the process begins. This is where we receive in all the waste and we put it on the conveyor. And what we try to do is we're going to try to pull out have it go this way. Can you see any, any material on here that probably won't decompose? Exactly right. That's a plastic salad container. What we need to do is take it out of all of this material here. down this way. So now that we're up here, we no longer need our glasses, but we can see the material coming through the hopper. It's being cut up into what's called an auger, and from there, it's coming into what's called the tub grinder. This all helps make the worms eat the food faster. Now do you want to throw some sawdust in on the, on the worm food? set. So we got to throw it on the vegetables as they come up beside us here. Okay. Is it like sprinkles? Yeah, just exactly like sprinkles. It's like baking a cake for the worm. The worms love it. show you how the bacteria cook up the food. And if you put your hand on this, you'll feel it's getting warm. Uh -huh. And what they're doing is the bacteria are basically running around in there playing tag and getting all hot. And that's what cooks the food. This is Emily Young collecting dirt. So this is where the warm food goes? Yes, so what happened is we put everything in the rotary and after five days, the rotary, we take all the material out of the rotary and we put it up in the beds. And the worms in here, then they consume all of it and, they, and we then move the belts so that it comes down onto a conveyor like that. Maybe I can take some of it home? For sure. Let's follow that dirt. And then this one's gonna go up here and I'll watch it 
let's catch up down here. Would you like to package some? Yeah. All righty. Let's come down here at the end. Look at all this stuff. Yeah, we can get that stuff too. Can you feel the difference? Yeah. Hey! It's, <laughs> it's falling out on you. Uh. It definitely smells better than it when it came out. Thank you so much, Vince, for teaching me about worms. I had so much fun. Well, I'm glad you could come out and learn about worms with Reworks. Worms high five. <laughs>